everyone! Welcome again to my YouTube channel. It's me, your breastfeeding and lactation consultant ngayon. Na I'm going to address those sa mga questions na uh, tinatanong ng mga viewers ko. First of all, I would like to thank my new subscribers ngayon and my older subscribers who's always been there following me in this breastfeeding, nursing, and educating journey that I've created as my platform. So, Maraming salamat for continued subscribing. Um, as I promise, um, lagi-lagi akong nag-devote ng time to answer the questions sa mga nanay na nagbe-breastfeed ngayon. And all other things about uh, breastfeeding, pregnancy, and education. So, I'm here today kasi I was away for a few days and then when I uh, opened my my messages, may mga, may mga nag-comments about breastfeeding. So, uh, shout out kung sino ka man na nagtanong sa akin about breastfeeding. So, this is to address about the problem of latching after giving birth. So, may nagtanong na nanay na 7 days old yung baby. May nagtanong na nanay na 5 days old yung baby na hindi nagkalat sa baby so they ended up of um, having supplemental feeding gawa ng problema sa latching. So, this topic is specifically doon sa mga newborn, mga first-time mothers na talagang namum problema kung paano ilalatch baby. Kasi nga, hindi nangyayari yung, yung, yung plan ninyo na mag, mag breastfeed kayo because of some circumstances na hindi ko alam kung anong dahilan kung bakit hindi naglalatch si baby and you ended up of not breastfeeding. So, First of all, is i, i papaliwanag ko sa inyo kung ano yung dapat sanang ginawa bago kayo i-discharge. Okay. Kaming mga nurses, kaming mga healthcare providers, lalo na i-discharge naman kayo, especially you are a new mom. So, focus sana namin, sana, okay? I use the word sana, is to fully teach you kung paano mag-breastfeed si baby when you go home. Okay? Ito hindi nangyayari lagi. Why? Number one, not all nurses or doctors are lactation consultants. Not all nurses are trained on how, on what to teach you for breastfeeding discharge teaching. So, ang nangyayari, kung ano lang yung nakikita ng mga nurses while you're there breastfeeding, akala ng iba, Kala ng mga nurses minsan, tama na yung ginawa mo. Okay? Tama na yung ginawa mo. So, some of them will just chart it na, oh, baby latch, baby breastfeed, baby poop, so-and-so, uh, baby's vital signs, good. Discharge ka na. Pagdating mo ng bahay, itong nangyayari, pagdating mo ng bahay, your breast, itong breast natin, itong breast natin, within three or five days, nagbabago ang hugis. Nagbabago ang texture. Ibig sabihin, nagbabago ang hugis, it can go bigger or biggest. Okay? Um, you, you may be help, you may notice na after 3 or 5 days, double na yung size ng breast mo. Minsan, triple na yung size ng breast mo. Kalimitan ito sa mga pasyente ko sa aking breastfeeding clinic. Nangyayari. The texture, 3 or 5 days after, yung breast mo naninigas na. So, what happened to that, to the texture na nababago? Ang nangyayari, pag ang breast mo, sikip na, sikip na, sikip na, because the milk was coming in, but yet the baby is not latching. So, ano nangyayari? Lalong sumikip na, sumikip yung breast mo, naninigas na, naninigas, hanggat hindi na makapag-latch sa baby. Bakit? Imagine niyo kung gaano katigas ito. This is very soft, ha? Huh? I can squeeze it like this, okay? This is very soft. When you are fully engorged, three or five days or even seven days, tigas na to, as hard as rock. Believe me, I saw this one many times sa mga pasyente ko na hindi na nga kaya nilang hipuin to the point na it was very painful. So, ano nangyayari? Baby is having difficulty latching for the first hand, dun sa hospital maybe, na hindi na ikukorek ng nurse. Pagdating mo sa bahay, you're trying your best on how to latch the baby. 
na hindi pa rin nakukorek ko ano yung tama. So what are the things, ano yung dapat mong gawin as your nanay ngayon? Na namuroblema ka and you're really longing for that perfect latch, na perfect breastfeeding, na it's, uh, na it's very convenient for you. Unti-unti yung turuan talaga si baby. It's just like when I explained this before, pag naglalatch ka na baby, is like you're dancing to a rhythm of music. Imagine mo yourself, you want, you try to dance lambada for the very first time na hindi mo alam kung ano yung sway ng hips mo or anong, anong movement ng paa mo. It's the same way kung paano kan mag breastfeed. So little step at a time, pag nag breastfeed ka, matututo ng matututo sa baby. But number one you have to do, okay? You need to make sure that you're doing this right. Position. Kahit anong latch mo pa, at hindi komportable si baby, at hindi ka rin komportable, the latch gonna be off. Hindi maging perfect ang latch. So make sure na you position the baby properly. Now, I don't know kung maliit ang baby mo, o malaki ang baby mo, as as commonly sa ating mga Asian, maliliit ang mga babies natin, dahil maliliit naman tayong mga tao. So, I'm looking at maybe 6 pounds or 7 pounds baby. Now, if your baby is 5 days old right now or 7 days old ngayon, at saka nat ayo talagang mag maglatch. So, you may be always using this position, the cradle position like this. Baka yun ang laging ito naman talaga laging tinuturo ng mga nurses sa ospital eh. Maybe you can switch it to a cross cradle position. I Watch my previous video kung paano ito hinuhold ko si baby. So, ito yung the best position pag si baby maliit, okay? Feeling ni baby pag nag-hold ka ng cross cradle hold na ganito. Feeling ni baby na love na love mo siya. Even though I know you love and love your baby. But ito kasi, biruin mo, I use my elbow to tuck in the bump. Yung bump ang pinaka-importante. And then, I just use my hands. Okay sa akin because I'm a very tall, big woman na kaya kong maha plus talaga the whole baby's body pero kung ikay nanay ngayon na maliit ka yung mga arms mo is not as long as my arm na ang haba ng kamay ko so kung her, ang ang arm mo is very short so maybe i, i, i adjust mo yung how you gonna hold the baby like this dahil kailangan mo talaga na yung elbow mo makokontrol mo yung movement ng bum at ma-hold mo like this so, another thing, kung ikay may cesarean ngayon, o masakit pa rin yung hiwa mo, if you have any tear down there, football position, yun din ang tinuturo ko sa mga pasyente ko. So, when you do football, the same hold, see? I'm using my elbow again, my arm, like this, this way. Pag ganito ang position nyo, let's say nakaupo kayo sa, sa couch nyo, o sa, sa sala set nyo, kung ano mang upuan ang ginagamit nyo, if you're sitting you're in your chair or couch like this, yung mukha ng baby mo, kitang-kita mo. Kitang-kita mo kung paano mo i-shoot yung nipple mo doon sa bibig ng baby mo. Imagine, when you're doing this, kitang-kita mo. You adjust by moving the baby's head towards the level of your nipple. Okay, ito ang mali. Tandaan yung mga nanay para makuha nyo talaga yung perfect class na hindi tinuturo ng ibang mga healthcare providers dyan. Okay? As a lactation consultant, I always focus on how the baby is touching uh, your breast and sucking your breast and positioning against your breast. Now remember, pag ganitong position na gamitin nyo, di kita-kita no, napakaganda ng position na to kung magaling kang mag-prepare. Mag, uh, mag Meaning, my pillow ka dito sa ilalim mo, ng elbow mo, to support your arm, okay? Yun ang gagawin mong uh, support, yung pillow, una. So, while I'm looking at my baby right now, kitang-kita ko yung baby. So, what I'm gonna do is, pag medyo mababa si baby, itaas ko siya ng konti. To the level na nasaan yung nipple ko, okay? Again, wag kang yuyuko. Never go down like this. When you go down like this, nagiging shallow yung latch, nagiging mababaw yung latch. Ito ang mali na hindi tinuturo sa inyo before kayo din discharge sa hospital. Okay? Do not go down. What you're gonna do, straighten your back, straighten your back. Move your back against the chair. Okay? Then, put the babies up, head up, guiding dito sa arm ko. 
and hold your breath. Wag na wag kayong yuyuko because when, once you yuko, mababaw na yung latch. Ang nangyayari, pag nagyuko kayo, yung chin ni baby, imagine niyo ha, hindi nagtatouch sa breast niyo. Ang nangyayari, yung nose ni baby ang nagtatouch sa breast niyo. If the nose is touching your breast right now, kung nag-breastfeed ka, meaning mababaw ang latch mo, kaya hindi nakakakuha ng gata si baby, ibig sabihin, walang gatas, mama, mag-quit na lang ako. Hindi na ako mag -latch. Because again, sino ba naman gustong mag na walang nabifeel na fluid na milk lalabas? Because again, it was a wrong latch. So try Try to compare those three positions na sinabi ko sa inyo. Kudos to you for asking questions. Don't hesitate to ask questions kung may problema kayo sa breastfeeding. Kaya ako ginawa itong YouTube channel na to. Dahil alam kong bibihira lang ang lactation consultant sa Pilipinas na gumagawa ng tamang turo sa mga nanay na kulang sa pagtuturo bago kayo i-discharge. So follow me in this journey. Share this video to other moms na nangangailangan ng tulong ngayon, okay? It's expensive to see a plastic lactation consultant. You can see a breastfeeding educator, but it's not the same as a lactation consultant. So, follow me. If you have any questions, do your comments. Binabasa ko ano yung mga comments nyo. At as much as I can, I try to help you and demonstrate to you kung ano yung tama na mali na ginagawa ng ibang mga nanay, kaya hindi sila successful in breastfeeding. Continue to message me, do your comments, ask me what do you want to know about breastfeeding because I have everything about breastfeeding that I can share with you based on evidence-based research. Hindi po walang fake news when it comes to my lactation consulting and breastfeeding advice, okay? So message me and do your comments, follow me in this journey, share this video and I hope Doon sa mga nanay nagtanong sa akin that I've answered your questions, please have more than 100% patience. Yun lang pasensya natin na kailangan. Hindi madali na mag-breastfeed, lalo na ang baby is uh, pagod, may trauma sa head dahil sa pag-labor -pag mo. Maraming mga complication that can really affect on how you latch the baby. So I hope I've helped you for those moms who asked questions. Maraming salamat for continued following me. I promise every two to three days, you'll have more videos from me. So share, share the love. Happy holidays. And I hope you enjoy this video and share this video. Maraming salamat po. Bye for now.